I'm standing here with James Thomas Gilbert from Midlothia. And James, we just got done talking to Jessica and Bill. We were talking about the movie, and it sounds like a lot of fun. A little slice of life, hometown, small town life. Uh, what attracted you to this role? Uh, well, Bill actually brought the script to me and let me read it a while back ago. Um, he was going to be doing, he adapted it, and he was going to be doing a reading of it. So he asked me if I'd do the reading of it so he could hear it out loud. And I just remember reading the script, and when I read the script, I knew that Duck was the role that I wanted to play. It was just kind of fit me. The lovable loser that's just a lot of fun. So, Are you a small town man yourself? No, I actually grew up in, well, I guess sort of. I grew up in Arlington, but I never really considered Arlington too much of a small town. But then I've always considered myself much more of a city person. Right. So, yeah. Are you enjoying AFI Dallas? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's top notch. It's a blast. Now, Bill was saying that he, I think he had taken this to one other festival, but he said that this is probably like the biggest premiere that you guys have had so far. Definitely the biggest premiere. I think he took it to the uh, Lake County Film Festival is where he's taken it so far, and uh, this is our basically the second stop on it, and it's definitely the biggest one. So, yeah. yeah. Is this opening a lot of doors for you? I would hope so. We'll yeah. see what happens from there, you know. Don't know yet, so we'll see. Yeah. So hopefully so. How do you feel about the finished product? It looks really good. It looks really good. Uh, I guess I've kind of had the heads up on it because I, I live with Bill, actually, and since he was the editor as well, I got a chance to kind of watch him do everything. So, yeah, yeah it was kind of You fun. got dirt on him? Some, but I won't talk about it right now. <laughs> we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, one of the other things we were talking about was that he said it was a 14-day shoot. That seems like a pretty breakneck speed to shoot a film. Now, did you was it was it hectic for you guys trying to get everything done in such a short period of time? Uh, no, not really. We had about a three-week rehearsal process before we started shooting, and then we were shooting it, and it was a 14-day shoot, but we were doing like 12 to 13-page takes sometimes, and it really came in handy in the fact that the four leads in it were all stage actors to begin with, so it was right. like... The dialogue really wasn't a problem because it's almost an, it's a very dialogue-driven piece, and so the 12-page scenes really didn't matter. Doing quick cool. takes, yeah. You have some stuff coming up next we should know about. Uh, no, I've got a few commercials coming out, and that's about it at the moment. So, yeah. What do you prefer, TV, like commercial work or film? Film, yeah, yeah. film by film. far. Yeah, I love film. Yeah, I came from stage, so film is like the best actually, but stage on top of that. So. Cool. Yeah. All right, James Good. Thomas Gilbert. I got that Thanks. right, didn't I? Yeah, that's it. And it's that's in it. Film is Midlothia. We'll check it out. Thanks, Thanks James. Appreciate Pleasure it. to meet you. Thank you. I'm standing here with Randall Scott and Ricardo Vega. Randall, you are the producer of Midlothia, and Ricardo, you are the composer. Very good. All right, we've been talking. We just we got just got done talking to Bill and Jessica and James, and I mean, it sounds like a lot of fun. I mean, they shot this in like 14 days, and you know, a little slice of life, small town America. You know, uh, what can you tell people about the film that maybe they don't see on the surface? Um, I, it's funny, I actually think it's kind of very, um, it's almost kind of very spiritual in a sense, because I know Fred went into the wilderness and saw the seven-headed beast, and he, you know, was, we looked at his mind until his eyes stopped seeing and all that. It's, so I, I find it kind of, that kind of film, um, but I also find it something that we all go through, I think, as human beings in different phases in our life, and this just happens to be maybe the second phase when you're 20-something years old of trying to find yourself, and someone throws you for a loop, and, and you don't know where to go, and you think your life's going to end, but really it's just beginning. Right. Now, Ricardo, uh, scoring the film, uh, I'm actually a big score collector myself, so I'm kind of curious to know, like, so who are some of your influences and your favorite composers? Well, uh, my influences are a little different than my favorite composers, but <laughs> I, I think I've been highly influenced by uh, classical composers more than actual film composers. Uh, I'm a big Bach fan, uh, Beethoven, Mozart. Uh, I'm actually a classically trained pianist, so my background is a little different than a lot of the newer generation composers you find today. Right. Uh, pop had, was never, you know, part of my bring, my bringing up. I uh, was never brought up really listening to a lot of pop. So I think my scores are going to be always somewhat classical, and, and not so much, you know, the action type. Even though you're trained as a film composer to do that as well. So um, as film composers, I would say. My biggest uh, uh, idol is uh, a guy called Gabriel Yared. Yes. Uh, he scored uh, The English Patient and Cold Mountain. And he has a very similar background than I have. So we, we have very similar training. Of course, he's 10 times better <laughs> than me. <laughs> but yes, that's, that's the idea. Now, how important do you feel, I mean, I, I have my own opinion about this, but how important do you feel that score, and Randall, I want to get your opinion on this too, that score plays into a film and the feel of a film? Well, um, sound is everything. I mean, even in silent movies, you, you had the music. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any sort of like uh, emotional connection with the picture. Right. So uh, you can have a movie without music. However, you can't have it without music and without sound. Right. I mean, t I guess technically you can, but you can't sustain it for very long. So uh, I would say that is the principle. Uh, 
the second one is trying to figure out in the director what kind of um, what kind of like flavor he's looking for. What does this movie mean? And right. What is he looking for? Sometimes they don't even know, and you have to sort of like get to know them. It's almost like going out for a beer and having a talk with a guy and then starting to relax, and then you start getting the real sort of elements of what he's looking for. Because right. I think we all sometimes don't know. And then when you start dealing with a composer or even with an actor, you start discovering elements about that person when you realize there's your sort of like teamwork happening right there. So it's like several layers. It's a, a lot of layers you go through until you're finally thinking that, okay, you're sharing almost the same brain. I mean, with Bill and I, we were scoring parts that before I would even say anything, he already knew what I was going to say and vice versa. That meant we were already on the second page, in a word, same page. And we did this in a week, so by the third day, we were like exactly on the same page with everything. So. Randall, how did you feel about Ricardo's score for the film? Uh, well, and I've said I've told him this before, it was definitely, it definitely, he took it to the next level. And I honestly don't know if we'd be sitting here at AFI and going and having all the success that we're having at all the festivals if it wasn't for his score. Right. So there's no question that he took that to, I'll take He's your money, your I'll, I'll, I'll take your money <laughs> later. And only cash, your check bounced last time. <laughs> and um, so his score absolutely took us to the next level. And how important are, do I think score and music is in film? I think that the, the, the beautiful thing of film is that it is such a team effort. Editing. Producing and even on production, there's a whole that that, that spawns many different veins into producing um, and uh, other things. Uh, there's editing, there's acting, there's writing, there's there, and the scoring and the music and the everything falls and it has to come together for a film to have its success. And I feel that Midlothia, everything came to, came together for that, and it was a lot of thanks because of what he did to it. Right. No question. Well, we're looking forward to checking it out. Randall oh, Scott, you, Ricardo Vega, thanks right, so much. Midlothia, check it out at AFI. Thank you. Thanks, guys.